Hey guys, Buffing Game Bad today, bringing on a video for our favorite weapon series, and today we're going to be covering the IWI Galil Ace, the modernized variant of the Galil dubbed the Ace. We'll be converting this from the base Ace variant in the 762x39 to something closely resembling the Ace 32, which is also in 762x39. So we'll be going over the weapon, building it, showing you how it works in Warzone, some of my favorite recommended builds to utilize in solos, and then if you're playing in quads, trios, or duos as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here is the final design for the weapon. So let me go ahead and back out quick and we'll look at the battle pass here. So again, this is the new weapon for season four, the CR-56 AMAX. And you can see it is gonna be unlocked at tier 31 in the battle pass. So this is the second free weapon you get here at tier 31, the CR-56 AMAX. There is the IWI Ace, the modernized variant of the Galil. So I'll link the conversion video we did below to the Ace 31. And today we're basically making the H32. Again, the barrel length here is a little bit off. Uh, it's an in-between variant of uh, the H31 as well as something like the H53, which fires the 762x51 NATO round. But let's go ahead and strip this down. First off, we'll build this for solo. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a monolithic suppressor. This is going to assist with the sound suppression and damage at range, keep us off the radar in Warzone, which is always going to be key. The cons here are going to be the aim down sight speed and the aim walking steadiness. So we'll go ahead and select that. Next attachment is we're going to want, since we're running this in Warzone, we're going to want the XRK Zodiac S440. So this is the longest barrel. Again, it doesn't give an exact measurement. Based on comparing it to the 11.8 Squall barrel, it appears to be somewhere, I would guess, around a 16 or an 18 inch or it's anywhere from 16 to 20 it's hard to really tell i'm gonna say it's probably closer to 20 but for the purposes of this the h32 comes in a 16.1 inch barrel in real life and that's the only other version besides the 31 that fires the 762 by 39 so we're gonna kind of call it that for now um it's more so probably closer to a 20 inch barrel but it's really hard to tell so it's really subjective there but again the pros here damage at range Bullet velocity and recoil control. The cons here being the ADS speed and the movement speed for the weapon. So we're going to select that. And just a quick note, stay tuned in the video here for giveaway details for the 20,000 subscriber giveaway we'll be doing here on the channel this week. Now let's jump into the laser. So for the laser, we're going to go ahead and attack laser. Now again, this is solo gameplay. I typically run attack laser just because it's a longer barrel. The mobility is a little bit slower, so I like to make up for it with attack laser. So you're going to get the aim down sight speed, aim instability, and aim walking steadiness for your pros. The cons are going to be that the laser is going to be visible to enemies only when you're ADSing. So just be careful about where and when you're ADSing. If you're ADSing, just be careful where you're pointing the end of your barrel. You can point like at a doorway if you're watching the door that way. Put at the door frame. That way if somebody is coming through from the other side, they won't see your laser. And then once they come through, you can move and get shots on target that way you're not giving away your position with attack laser so we'll go ahead and select that now optic this is really personal preference again i typically like to have i like the ability to engage at a medium to longer range as well as close quarters when i need to so for that i like to run the integral hybrid or the leopold hammer but again this is really personal preference based on what you're more comfortable with and this seems this is basically my favorite scope for warzone i believe this and the four times slip i think work the best for that so this is again going to start out with that 3.25 scout toggle is you have that top mounted red dot sight there so you can swap between the two pretty easily the pros again reflex sight toggle and the zoom level the cons ads speed because we have a little extra weight on the weapon there but we're making up for that or mitigating it mostly with the tack laser that we have now the final attachment is going to be the underbarrel so you can have, you really have two options here you have the commando foregrip which is going to assist with the recoil stabilization and the aiming stability the cons are going to be the movement speed the other option is going to be the merc foregrip so that's going to help you out with the recoil control more so vertical recoil versus horizontal with the commando the hip fire accuracy the cons here being the aim walking and movement speed and the aim down sight speed so the merc foregrip i choose over the ranger just because it seems to help out a little bit more versus the ranger with that vertical recoil controlling that vertical muzzle climb but again you have the commando foregrip there as well which will do a very good job and you won't take any negation for the ads speed with that foregrip as well but since we have a tack laser on it's really mitigating any loss we're taking to the ads speed so we'll go ahead and select the Merc Foregrip for this build. So this is my solo build that I typically like to run with. And you can see here, really nice weapon. You can also run this in duo. I run this in duos a lot too, and I think it works fine. You have that larger caliber on the weapon, be the 7.62 by the 39 millimeter Russian round there. So it definitely hits really hard. You can easily take out a squad of duos with just the one base 30 round magazine for this weapon. Now for the... 
trios and quads build of this weapon the only other change we here that i would really make is going to swap out the tack laser and you can go ahead and put on the 45 round magazine so that's going to take you from the base 30 round to the 45 rounds the cons are going to be obviously the ads speed and the movement speed so if we select that now this is where it's going to be personal preference that's really the only change i would make but you can if you're really concerned about the ads speed since this is going to slow you down a little bit more than you're used to you can swap out the merc for the commando foregrip and that should mitigate any mobility loss that you're really taking there and keep you uh, with your ads speed a little bit better and your mobility overall and again this build works really well too but typically i run it with the merc foregrip just because i'm engaging usually at medium range with this weapon i'm not really going close quarters too much although it definitely has happened which you'll see in some of the gameplay so this is definitely a very good trios and quads build of the weapon i think that 45 round magazine is definitely a must if you're going anywhere above duos but this is my recommendation for the trios and quads versus the if we go ahead and deselect that we'll put that attack laser back on versus the solos and duos build right here so very very minor changes to the weapon again this weapon handles really well overall we'll go ahead and look at the customization i do for this so for the reticle i typically with a lot of these Guns always run the Chevron Tactical. I think this one works really well. It just gives you much clearer sight picture versus the default optics here. And of course, you have your other options, which work pretty well too. But I personally prefer the Chevron Tactical. And then as far as camouflage go, I typically just run with standard black. I think this weapon looks really nice in just standard black camo for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and leave that. And that is our final design for the IWI Ace 32. Again, that barrel length really is... More so in line with the older Galils. Uh, I believe it's more more so about a 20-inch barrel for the older 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 Galils that fire the 762 by 39. But this is really so for the Ace variants. It's somewhere between an Ace 32 with a 16.1 and either an Ace 52L, which is going to be 18, or an Ace 53, which will be 20 inches. But again, the Ace 53 fires a different caliber, so we'll call it an ace 32 for now. Maybe maybe we can get a, I wish they put the description how long the barrel was, was here But it seems to be closer to 20 when comparing it to other rifles Maybe even a little over but again this weapon performs really well as so we jump into the gameplay here I really had a lot of high kill games using this weapon. You'll see me basically it, it excels anywhere close quarters It definitely is pretty good there. It's not the ideal place to use it but because you're firing that same caliber around as the AK-47, you can definitely deal high damage at close quarters, and I, I have some good sh shots here that I do that. Just getting in close quarters, house, combat, and moving around like that. Utilizing that top-mounted red dot sight on the Leopold Hammer, the Integral Hybrid, definitely is the way to run that if you're going in houses. So you'll see me a lot of times in my gameplay. If I'm outside uh, looking at medium to longer range engagements, I'm going to always use that 3.25, and then if I'm going in buildings, I'll toggle to that top-mounted red dot sight, just so I'm not having to deal with that zoom in close quarters combat. But this weapon is basically a better version of the AK-47 that we have in game. It fires the same round, deals very similar damage. You have a faster rate of fire. It's just overall, I feel like a better weapon. The recoil is not as much. So Really, if you're a fan of the AK-47, there's really no reason to use that over the Ace-32 here or the CR-56 Max. I think this weapon does everything the AK does, but it does it better, and I really do enjoy it. Now, that being said, I've won a couple Warzone games with the AK builds that we've covered here on the channel. I haven't been able to win a Warzone game using this Ace-32 variant that we're showing off here. Now, I've had a lot of really high kill games, probably some of my best games that I've had playing Warzone, but for some reason, just unable to finish whether it be bad luck, which is definitely comes down to what I've had probably about three or four sec second place victories or second place placements in solos, which is just unfortunate. A couple of that in duos as well, but it really comes down to that final circle. You're going to want something like an SMG, whether it be a vector or even an MP5, something that's going to help you out in closer quarters with a faster rate of fire. This thing definitely deals high damage, but because you have a slower rate of fire, you're always going to typically lose out to something like a Growl, even though I think damage per second wise, the Amax or the Galil Ace here is going to deal better damage per second than the Growl does. But again, the Growl just has a faster rate of fire, very low recoil at long range. And so if you're in a one-on-one -on -one engagement with a Growl, you really need to be careful because that weapon is very deadly. And even though this can deal higher damage and it's very accurate, especially at range, it's just not nearly as accurate as a Growl. So you will get hit by those quite a lot. It seems to be the problem right now with the meta is that everyone's using Growls, which definitely can be frustrating, especially playing to try and get some wins with this. It seems like every single time I, I died, it happened to be somebody 
camping someplace with a growl that just beams you from very far away with that standard meta build with it just has very low to no recoil so hopefully they do something about that whether they nerf that weapon or do something to just discourage or change the meta in the game i think is needed because everybody seems to be using the growl right now which makes it i think takes the fun out of the game when you're trying to play with new weapons like this trying to get some realistic tactical builds like i am and you just keep getting uh an engagement with the exact same weapon it can be a little bit hard but again this weapon here is very very good i think it can definitely get the job done i just haven't been able to win games with it but i've had really high 15 to 18 kill games with this weapon it does a lot of damage at longer range too the accuracy and the recoil is very manageable with full auto fire especially at range so i think this is definitely one of my favorite weapons in the game and again like i said it does everything the ak does but it does it better so let me know what you guys think of this down below. Have you used this build in Warzone or in multiplayer? Have you unlocked it yet? What attachments do you have? What's your preferred build? I think there's probably some better builds out there, but usually with my channel, I try and stay t true to real-life tactical builds, and this is one that I really like. And again, it definitely works. It excels really well in medium to longer ranges, especially. It can go in close quarters, but not ideal. But it is a really good weapon. You just really need to pick your engagements if you are going up against grouse even m4s i think are, are you can easily take with this but again those higher rate of fire 556 five, weapons can be challenging if you're in a bad position so you just got to be careful with that in the final couple circles and i think again this weapon can definitely get a job done so let me know down below what you guys think your favorite build is what if you agree disagree with me on the build that i have here for solos especially with my trios and quads builds let me know now, also for the giveaway, so I'll link the details down below. You can just follow the instructions there. I'm going to be giving away, doing the giveaway this week. We'll pick a winner probably this weekend is what I'm planning. And again, that's going to be the 20,000 subscriber giveaway as well as the Season 4 giveaway. So what I'll be doing is giving away a few $30 gift certificates or gift cards to your console of choice, being PlayStation, Xbox, or even PC. So to enter, all you've got to do is be subscribed to the channel and then comment on one of the two, one of the two and or both of the videos that I have linked below being the Vector M-Lock video and the Milsim Operator video for Season 4. So just comment on one of those two videos, doesn't need to be both, and comment with your console of choice, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or a PC, and then tell me something about Season 4 that you like, dislike, something you want to see come in the future. I just really want to hear you guys' opinions on the season so far, what you're thinking, and then things that maybe you'd like to see in season five six or beyond as we get into the later seasons of the game but again let me know down below i'll leave you guys with whatever gameplay we have left here this get gun again excels really well i had a lot of really good high kill games with this weapon especially in the later game when you get into the final couple circles there uh it definitely tears through people it's just really a matter of positioning with this weapon and sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't in those final circles so you just really got to be careful but again this weapon i think is really a nice balance between somewhere between the m4 and the growl it's not quite as good as the as the growl for sure but again it's a nice balance in there it gives you another option for those weapons so let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon this is the iwy ace 32 until next time buffner gaming out